start with a really short thank you video to everybody. Um, you know, being a part of the YouTube community and being part of the EVE community has been a really big part of my engagement with this game and being able to keep engaged um, after many years of playing. Um, you guys are awesome. The community at large is fantastic. And um, while there are definitely areas where we can improve as a community, like helping new bros find their way to corporations that suit their play style, or helping build awareness of the fact that new players coming in to play for free should still join alliances and corporations and get help from players like you who know more about the game um, and and you know funnel them to resources like you know uh, eve university horde goons you know any of the alliances that are taking in new bros and uh, channels like mine you know or uh, the lone wolf anybody who is producing content out there and there are many many of us um, who are making twitch streams available for new bros that you know walk through the essentials of learning how to set up your overview um i've done my best to incorporate new content from eve university's core curriculum and some other courses i guess lecture with eve university from time to time um, i'm perfectly willing to create new videos to address questions or concerns that people here have and i'm thinking of running a bi-weekly q a session that anybody will be able to join that can help to address some of the questions and answers you may have around game mechanics. Another person who does this is Seamus Donahue, whose YouTube channel you should definitely check out. He holds a weekly Q&A session on Monday nights USTZ, that's Tuesday EU time zone, um, for people who uh, want to know more about the game mechanics. That's your EVE University, you can find his courses in the uh, course calendar. Um, there's lots of people out there who are willing to help new bros. And it's been troubling me lately that we've seen such a uh, an incredible response from the community at large to things like star citizen you know uh shall we say drawing very strong inspiration from the designs of uh, ccphf um but the fact that um we you know aren't taking that same level of passion into uh, you know bringing in more new bros and making the game more accessible um, it, it bugs me. And while Iron Armada currently has our uh, recruitment closed, it will be opening again very soon uh, once we have our new authorization tool up to accommodate the new ESI endpoints. Um, but, you know, it's, it's one of those things that, you know, there's opportunities for you in this game no matter what your play style is, no matter where you want to go. Uh, you know, whether you're wholly interested in just exploration and industry, or if you're into uh, mining, if you're into, you know, fleet command and, and learning how to fly with others. And, and one of the best things that you can do, um, and I, I mean this wholeheartedly because this really helped me, one of the things that you can do that will really help you to grow your understanding of this game is to start studying it and begin teaching it to others. Test your own knowledge. Um, when people or receiving information from you about this game, if they have questions, they'll ask you. And if you don't know something, if you catch yourself with a, with an empty spot in your knowledge, where there's, a, where there's a gap in your understanding about something, or if you realize that your understanding of a, of a mechanic in the game is imperfect, it's a perfect opportunity for you to say, I don't know, but let me find out. And that shows people that you have a maturity and that you have a, a willingness to learn yourself and that um, nobody's perfect. And it puts you in the position of, of being able to take leadership. And that is one of the things that this game desperately needs. And more teachers is one of those things that are desperately needed in this game. Uh, EVE University in particular, you can guest lecture there. They are doing a huge drive for guest lecturers to get more people in teaching new bros the ropes. And if you have the drive, the willingness, and the time uh, to do so, I recommend reaching out to them. Talk to Jacob Valora, um, talk to Laura Karpinski, talk to anybody at EVE University and see about how you can get enrolled. Um, you don't have to be a member of EVE University. You can be in Horde, you can be in Goons, you can be in Test. Um, you know, you, there's, you can literally come from anywhere. Um, you can speak almost any language. Um, they will find people to fill your classes who speak your language. You know, it's it's definitely the opportunity for you to get out there and make your name known and become a bigger presence in the community. And speaking of the community, I have to thank you so much. Uh, we've recently passed a thousand subscribers. Um, you know, myself and the people who helped me put together my slide decks and work on these um, presentations. I, I really, 
really have to thank everybody who's subscribing and who's interested in what I have to say and what I have to teach. I hope that my videos are helping you to learn. And if there are any videos that you'd like to see me make, or if there's any questions that I haven't answered, um, any areas of the game that you're even the littlest bit curious about that you haven't been able to find resources for, or that maybe you just don't have the time to, you know, read your way through a, a massive wall of text, or if the Uniwiki uh, maybe needs updating, let me know about these things and, and I'll work to provide those resources and provide those videos. One of the other things that I'm going to look at doing is potentially working with other providers and, and content producers like Zendane, um, members at INN, you know, Crossing Zebras, whoever I can get a hold of, to see about um, creating a bunch of audio content that you'll be able to listen to or download from my YouTube channel that is audio focused only, so you don't actually need to be in game. Stuff that you can listen to in the car on the way to work or on transit on your way to university or just while you're cleaning your house um, and try to make some of this content available to you. S stuff in the way that provides context and knowledge about the game, but that doesn't necessarily require you to be looking at the screen. Um, so look for some of that content to come in the next few months. And if there's anything that you'd like to see me add, please feel free to throw uh, comments in the comments section. Um, if there's any kudos or, or, or shout outs that you want to make to other content producers that I should know about and maybe reach out to, um, please I encourage you to do that as well. Thank everyone so, so much. Uh, another thing I'd like to add is that very soon you'll probably see me uh, writing a few more articles in the Diplomacy thread. I'll be tying up that series in INN um, in the next month here. I'm just working on the final drafts of that. I'm also going to be writing several other articles very soon, um, including a response to an article that I saw earlier today. And I'll just switch to that slide. So this uh, article was posted in the EVE online users group in Facebook. And it's an article about why EVE is discouraging for new players. Now, this is obviously written by somebody who is fairly new to the game, um, hasn't you know, really grown their experiences. But in a big way, the critiques that this person has about EVE are indicative in a strong way of where we as a community have opportunities to grow and use this as a teaching moment. Um, so they, they talk about the fact that you know, basically to be effective at ratting, everyone has given them the device that basically you need to be either be in a VNI or you need to be in a carrier and that where that's where your ticks are going to be. And, and realistically, you're looking at, you know, a four to nine month train to get into a ratting carrier. Uh, make sure you have, you know, a central field theory, everything else. But I mean, really, um, the the big things here is that this is based on an incomplete list. Really, the training time for a carrier is closer to a year to be functional in it. This is just, you know, being able to sit in it and fly it around. Um, so, you know, some of the critiques that this person has are that they're feeling that they're not able to be optimal without a huge investment in this game. And to be honest, um, their critiques, some of them are valid, um, but the majority of their critique is around the fact that they don't have enough knowledge. They don't know about the other things they don't know about. So they don't know about the, the huge amount of money that they can make exploring in certain types of data sites. That moon mining in a corporation can be one of the most lucrative ways to make money in this game. They haven't even mentioned incursions. There's no discussion here of, you know, doing the new abyssal sites this is sort of a very limited look at EVE Online. It, it's sort of like they're looking at the very base of the glass without talking about the whole rest of the glass or even the contents of the glass. They're talking about one tiny aspect of the overall cup of goodness that is EVE Online, and they haven't even started to drink from it. You know, they're, they're just scratching the surface here. And really, I just kind of want to toss this person uh, a very positively written reply and I may just do that this week um, about how like really you know if if you think about Eve in the uh, in the context of a really tall glass of beer or wine and you really want to enjoy it and you want to get the most out of it you've got to drink deep you got to get into it and the biggest part of that and knowing where to go and how to make money and how to make this a more enjoyable immersive experience for yourself because Lord knows we all love our immersion as Eve players you really have to connect with the community. And it looks to me, based on the comments and contents that I've read within this article, that this is somebody who really hasn't had a really positive, um, you know, in invitation into the corporations and alliance structure within EVE Online and within and into the awesome 
Eve community. Um, and that's something that I've noticed quite a bit lately is that uh, we haven't been doing a good enough job there. And I hope that if you're watching this video, if you're seeing this for the very first time, if you don't know where to start and you don't know who to talk to, reach out to me. I will find people for you to talk to. I will find people to introduce you to people with your similar play style. Um, add me as a contact in game, reach out to me in Twitter, um, message me here on YouTube. You know, there are many, many, many ways to get a hold of me and I make myself available on Facebook. Um, you can find me in the Eve forums. Uh, you know, I, I'm, I make myself available and lots of players do. Don't be afraid to ask, but don't assume. Um, Lots of players who've been playing this game a very long time have committed that same mistake I have as well, where you assume that you know more than you do, and uh, it's very, very easy to open your mouth and insert your foot. And it can be very discouraging when people in this community who are not afraid of uh, telling you what they think um, hit you with a little dose of truth. It can be very discouraging, but it doesn't mean that they're wrong. So, you know, if, if you have room to grow and you can afford to be just a little bit humble, reach out and talk to people in the community and see if you can find a group of like-minded players to get with. And if you get with a group of guys and you don't like that, you know, guys or gals, you don't like that, that corporation, you don't like that alliance, or it's not the right culture fit for you, there are other options out there. There are several hundred thousand people playing this game on a given month. Um, 20 to 30,000 logged in at any given time. You know, it's a big universe. EVE is huge and it's been around forever. And I promise you there is room for you in this game. And there are many, many ways for you to make money if that's what your goal is. But um, money shouldn't be the only goal you have in playing this game. Anyways, thank you everyone. Thanks so very much. I'm so very happy about all of the latest developments that have come into the game. Um, the, the release of Into the Abyss has been absolutely fantastic. I love this instant solo jump in and play PV, PVE experience. Um, I, I've had some really unique uh, peeks into the lore and conversations with people in the community about where this is taking the game and some of the developments that are coming up in, in future PVP opportunities. And we, we're here in a really, really exciting time. And I really have to say, I hope you stick with us. Uh, I hope that you continue to play the game and I hope that you stay tuned for more videos from my channel. Um, thank you so very much. Um, again, uh, I love all you guys. This is fantastic. And for those of you who are going to Eve Vegas, I'll see you there. This is Jerry's Doctor. Cheers.